Hello and welcome back to Star Trek New Worlds. And when we last left off, we achieved a stunning diplomatic victory uh, by taking the entire Torbert government along with a sizable portion of their civilian population hostage. And I'm not quite sure if uh, this uh, was uh, done uh, with the approval of the Romulan Senate because uh, the plan uh, put in motion was the idea of our cousin and not the military and apparently also not the Senate. And uh, well, I think uh, they are happy to just uh, let us be to our own devices and then uh, praise or reprimand us based on the outcome, which is an interesting and very hands-off approach of running a colonial program, I have to say, and uh, well, access to these minerals is not crucial, uh, unlike the Klingon Empire, but uh, yeah, I don't think the boats very well for our chances are against the fight uh, yeah, with the matter, which uh, will come in uh, play pretty shortly, yeah, maybe not the very next mission, but uh, yeah, now it's time for the Romulans the Empire to make first contact with the Hubren, and of all the starting positions, ours uh, will be uh, most likely divorced, and then I'm not uh, just referring to it being particularly exposed. No, we also uh, do not have uh, very rich uh, fields uh, nearby, so we are also very resourced throughout the entire thing. And uh, well, I am assuming at the very least that is the uh, very same map that has been featured before in Absent Friends. So without further ado, uh, we get our briefing from our cousin today. Once again, we are absolutely uh, uncertain as to his position or our position or why we are in charge or yeah, so hmm, loyalties are in question all around, especially when it comes to our subordinates. <laughs> so okay then, let's see what it's all about. I mean, we sort of know what it's uh, going to be, but uh, yeah, there's a different uh, take on the entire situation, of course. Hail! Klingon and Federation activity on the planet Orgolio has alerted us to an intriguing situation. An unusual energy signature was detected here 40 hours ago. This seemed to be a cue for the local Talbot to begin an exodus, total evacuation taking less than a day. We believe the energy signature, the Talbot migration, and the sudden interest of the Klingons and the Federation to be connected. The Senate insists you find out what the connection is. The energy appears to emanate from a curious floating structure, not yeah, of Talbot origin. The Federation and the Klingons immediately set up science colonies to study it. You are to develop a similar facility to establish just what our friends think they have discovered and why they want to keep it from us. As the last colony to be established on Orgolio, yours will commence at a distinct disadvantage. Yeah, With this in mind, the Senate has authorized the engagement of Klingon and Federation units if necessary. However, you are cautioned against needlessly provoking our rivals, or you will be called before the Praetor to answer personally. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your initial assignment is to investigate the energy signature and the structure that apparently generates it. Send out a science tank, crewed by your most able staff, to scan the structure immediately on your arrival and monitor them closely. The scanned data will require detailed examination in a science facility which you will construct on site. You will have to place your best equipment online the second the scans are complete if we are to beat the Federation's mm. Vulcans to the truth. You will receive further orders when the research is done. The Astrophysical Academy will monitor your progress and I will develop a detailed mission plan in consultation with them. You begin a voyage into the unknown, cousin. Galactic politics, martial ambition, and scientific discoveries are the stuff of grand plots and great glory. While the situation demands you begin the colony as a science base, your plans should remain flexible. Who knows what battles await you on Orgolio? Yeah, the whole brand probably. Well then, uh, so the mission parameters are quite distinct. Uh, I think the Klingons as well as the Federation were both interested in mining resources for the most part and doing a little bit of science uh, yeah, on the side, so to speak. And uh, well, we are the latecomers and uh, I saw a Romanian robot in orbit. So maybe that's the uh, fire support they were talking about, which uh, will come in quite handy, no doubt, because our base is extremely exposed, because we have been over there uh, with our uh, scouts uh, previously, I believe, and there was nothing left of the base after the uh, Hubon started attacking it, so maybe fair a little bit than our uh, counterparts in the previous two campaigns and uh 
Yeah, access to mineral fields will be quite limited, I'm afraid. And uh, the plateau will be off limits because the only way up is for the Klingon base. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Tank. Yeah, most likely not. So, let's see then. Uh, so, yeah, that is, yeah, that lovely. Uh, we cannot select it by the sword in orbit, so it must be there, of course. So, let's see what our base requires. Uh, yeah, building up these facilities at a rapid pace, probably. I'm not quite sure if the Hubren are still uh, or already uh, active. I um, really don't know. So, what's the safest quotation mark uh, place to put this stuff? I guess over here someplace. Because the construction yard is uh, required. Yeah, for us at the very least, unlike the uh, AI for that matter, as I've discovered. Okay, well, I don't. F yeah, at least we have this science vessel, I suppose, to can go on spot number four and fight off some minerals. Back here, it should be fairly safe. Yeah, so, and otherwise, we're looking at some APCs we may uh, need later on, because, well, it, yeah, yeah, so it's the uh, repeat of the same situation, probably, which is not fantastic. And, uh, while, um, okay, and, uh, um, yeah, we know where the fortress is. Maybe we can get over there before. Yeah, actually, it's not a terrible idea, is it? Okay, we do reconnaissance and force and see if we can scan the structure before anything goes uh, horribly wrong here, because it only takes a couple of minutes to trigger these uh, Ubren. Okay, then. Uh, is it under construction? Still, I should say. That's not fantastic. Okay, we paved the way for our science vessel. We have a traffic jam behind the artillery. Lovely. <laughs> That's what I want to see, right? Uh, if we spot a two, um, yeah, a two stiff opposition, we pull back immediately. Okay, I think that... No? Is it still building this stuff? Objective completed. Yeah, but how long can it take? Construction yard awaiting your order. Apparently very long, so vehicle yard as much as obvious. And also need the uh, super large resource processor here somewhere in the back. Ideally. Oh, this may do the trick, alright. What are we looking at? So we have Ubren and Root. So I don't Bubble think that's the best idea after all here. Yeah, because like that, yeah, they can one shot us and now we have to reboot the science so Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Okay, then try to protect the base. What's obviously not going to work, is it? Oh. Yeah, of course, that fucking... Oh, man, it's going to be a horrible engagement for us. I can already tell. <laughs> and come on, it's only one uh, vehicle of theirs. Can you blast it, please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is quite obvious, isn't it? Man. Well... There we go. So we lost our science vessel, which is a massive problem or a massive setback for that matter, but still. It's something we have to rebuild and we have to defend our base in some fashion. And for this, we need vehicles, we need two vehicle yards, we need uh, research, we need access to minerals, we need a scout, all these things. And I can have accomplish anything at the same time, really. Okay, well, um, maybe try to fire over this by not getting blasted in the process because they're extremely slow, extremely vulnerable and all that. And the other individuals here, they cannot uh, make too much happen except to uh, stay on squad number one as a very strong force. And two of those consist of APCs, so we can only hope that the Ubon will leave us uh, alive for the time being, or at least alone. Okay, well, APCs against the uh, Ubon doesn't do anything, so we don't waste our uh, efforts on that. But some power stations at the end would be a good idea. And this can be set down anywhere, apparently. Okay. Maybe uh, the robot will help us out then. Right, so it's too far away, we need to be go. Yeah, so... I guess that would do the trick for now. We try uh, two of those, and maybe we have the... Yeah, maybe we have the mineral field and uh, scanner range then. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's the next one incoming. Maybe we actually open fine, and we can see how effective this may be. So we can hit it, which is not a given. And this is extremely ineffective. Ah, I think what's going on is that uh, the Hubran vessels are just way too fast. Way too fast. Uh, not sure you see. Yeah, so not a single uh, that point of damage was inflicted on this thing. Oh, well, that's great. I only hope that we can focus fire on the Hubran before they uh, cause too much damage. And we need some uh, mines if you don't mind. Generator completed and online. Yeah, well, that won't do here long term at the very least. And uh, well, at least there's some information. I'm not quite sure if they can take down the. Yeah, probably can because the fortress. Uh, well, we need to scan, not to destroy it, which means we have to get a science vehicle over there because we won't, uh, won't do the trick, I'm afraid. Uh, so, well, hmm, science is quite important this mission, so we put it in the back here someplace. Okay, what else do we need? Uh, we are outpacing our, our uh, ability to get stuff done already. Complete. Vehicle I don't complete. think we need a cargo. What are you doing? Vehicle no! Complete. 
Yes. I doing? No, 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 stop that bullshit. I didn't order you to go over there anyway. It's going to I on the wrong type of orders? That could be the case. Ah, I know what happened. And the Hubren retreated before we were able to chase them down. And this is why, yeah, they wanted to do this. Yeah, the big, big doofuses they are. Okay, can we get the two vehicle vessels here and then see what's going on? Man, it, uh, I don't need a distractions right now. Vehicle crews. <laughs> so you take the hospital. Also, very large structure. So go over here in the back, please. Okay, then. I'm not quite sure if our... Uh, we need the science vehicle, yes. Nothing else would suffice, probably. And there was... Uh, I'm not quite sure if you can scan this from the other side, but there are a couple of between us and the objective. So... Maybe the Federation can make us a useful, keeping them busy. Okay, squad number four for you, and at least find us some accessible mineral fields uh, near the Federation base, for instance. That would be a good idea. We should be uh, able to survive a quick flyby, maybe. See what's going on. We can scan this from the other side, and this is a blind spot of the turret. So being the Uber down uh, one shot us, which is probable. Okay, it's our power stations. I'm not sure they can fire upwards from this angle. Uh, since we have eyes on that, maybe you can find a tie here someplace, yes? Apparently it's not possible, and there's that uh, defensive turret. Yeah, this needs some minerals if you don't mind. <laughs> oh man, come on, apparently this just uh, taunting us here, right? What are you doing? No! Uh, so, of course, uh, then we have to uh, squeeze a strike force uh, through there somehow, and apparently the robot is also targeting the uh, hangar we're supposed to uh, capture later. Mm -hmm, that's fantastic. Oh, wait. Utility hospital standing by. Uh, uh, it's not nearly complete. <laughs> so, not. I uh, saw so we don't uh, scan anything. Instead, we just uh, go with the capture approach, alright, that changes the mission parameters quite severely. Construction and complete. In terms of the essence, because I'm not quite sure how dope this thing is, if it gets blasted. Uh, Tower Defense Tower, that you can blast it, uh, oh, my heart's content, that's fine with me. <laughs> of course, we don't have access to the Starship in orbit, it's not obeying any orders of ours, it's just roaming, uh, looming across the sky. Menacingly. Science station online. Yeah, one of those will need multiples, ideally. Okay, medical officer gets in the med bay. Man. So, where's that second scout of ours? If it's still up. No, both have been blasted, but that's great. At least they are cheap to replace. Vehicle complete. Yeah, very cheap. Vehicle complete. Okay, squad number four, and then try to find something. I'm not quite sure what he bumped into, but apparently it was lethal. Home, and the other guy would just uh, leave here for the time being. And to see what the other one can accomplish. Mm -hmm. Anything else we can upgrade from here? Yeah, so there we go. Advanced tab, and then also need some research going. Popcap is a uh, yeah, so made this good work. Okay, hold you for a second, please, while we try to squeeze in the mine over here someplace. And of course, it's also. Uh, inaccessible apparently, and uh, over here is not going to survive for very long, but maybe can uh, mine some minerals before it gets blasted, which will, yeah, is quite inevitable, so I wasn't lying about the fact that our base is extremely exposed, yes. Okay, let's focus on uh, what we need, yeah, I need more power, but I want to research the advanced power station first, we don't find anything else on these tools, they aren't particularly useful, but the Huberen are very fast, yeah, way too fast, and this is a big, big power hook here. Utility hospital standing by. Oh, okay, we bumped into the uh already blasting this, aren't they? Construction oh. complete. Last time we were here as the Klingons, they also uh, got completely utterly annihilated. <laughs> Alright. There's that lovely noise again. Uh okay, they're still just hanging back with their science vehicle, whatever. They don't care about this, then uh <laughs> we can take the opportunity or seize it, I should say. The mine is ready, but once they're online for very long, then we have uh, their own advanced mine, which is something they, they are provided with, I believe. Okay, then. Uh, I think there was. I'm not quite sure if. Yeah, but we can make the attempt if they blast it, so be it. Then, moment, we of course also completely maxed out in the pop cap department, aren't we? Because the build button is locked. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Alright. Let's try to fix that while we can. And the operations officer should probably help out in the 
Uh, yeah, where should it be helping out? Uh, probably in the resource processor. I don't think the bonus is uh, very substantial, but we have to, uh, yeah, we have to make do for this for now. Engineers should probably go into the graveyard because we will be required to build quite a few vehicles later on. Okay, that leaves uh, only the uh, security officer idling for now because we have, yeah, there we go. I think we can set down right away. That's power station, okay. At least one of those. Or two even. Mm -hmm. That gives us the residency. So access to the sheet generator. But I was more interested in another one's power station if you don't mind. Also that se yeah, security bureau. Building yeah, and then we're already out pacing. Yeah, but it's not a good sign. <laughs> it most certainly is not. Okay, try to... I think it will be a very productive mine because we are competing with the Federation, but uh, I think it's some resources we can spare. Okay, so the way up was over here someplace. Yeah, there's no way we can uh, fly in the other for recombustor, but at least that we can maybe survive the uh, flyby and then get extra mineral field on top of the plateau. So let's see what's going on. The generators and turrets. Ah, yeah, I know how uh, significant this investment is. <laughs> Compared to the payoff, it's not going to be worth our time. So the disruptor, yeah, these don't miss very often because uh, they are uh, hit scan weapons and projector bonds. This makes them far superior. At least survive the one hit, which is good. Yeah, that's that mineral field and the way up. I think. Yeah, but we have parked here some disruptor tanks. Well, maybe we can stay away from those. Okay, mining station over here, spare in the middle if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay, so that's good because we certainly need uh, radio lithium, lots of those. Alright, I think if you squeeze too close, they can shoot at this, but since it's uh, one way to put this vehicle anyway, we just park it there and see what's going on. I don't think the, or their positioning has uh, changed necessarily, so maybe just wait for the, uh, yeah, so. This uh, will run dry pretty soon, so we can replace with the other one over there, just not our uh, pace, our um, construction bees, or uh, yeah, cargo bees specifically, pardon me. Okay, then second vehicle, yeah, before we do anything else. Yeah, that's why I left the spot open. Also need to focus on uh, research a little bit. And then we need the residency and also the hydroponic farm, a couple of defenses and so on and so forth. And we're already running a little low here on, uh, yeah, minerals as well as available space. And... Oh, only this tile is still available, unfortunately, so we'd have to do. Uh, but the... Yeah, so we have to wait for this other stuff. Uh, maybe build a couple of the tanks in the meantime, if you can. Oh, it has not been researched yet, unfortunately. And oh, then at least rebuild the science vessel. Uh, I don't, we don't need any more, do we? Yeah, I think so. Uh, is this, yeah, so, okay, this thing is completely useless. I think the advanced mine is happening away all the resources we could gather, at least theoretically. <laughs> well, as much as I could, I could have figured already, right? Yeah, they are poking the uh, Klingons. At least try to. Okay, get this going, please. Need some vehicles finally. Ah, uh, the northern angle may not be as heavily defended as the uh, other ones. So I think uh, playing as the Federation and the Klingons, ones, we had uh, a rougher time uh, squeezing our way into the uh, Hubon facilities. So maybe take out the fortress because it's kind of uh, dangerous. Together with the Robert, once it swings over there, that could be a viable course of action. Okay, so then we set the old squad number 5, and uh, I don't think there's anything else we could accomplish with this thing, but we, are, we have to uh, maybe kill a couple of uh, these uh, from beings while we're in the vicinity. And they have one turret here, one turret there, then they have the um, uh, fortress itself, which we should eliminate, otherwise we have to go the long way around, and they have a big, big blocking force in the way. So yeah, that would make it a little easier, I suppose. Okay, this thing is ready, then we need uh, updating, or upgrading, I should say. Yeah, it's not actually ready yet. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Vehicle complete. Mm -hmm. Okay, and get to work, folks. And let's see what the... Okay, 90%. Interesting. Maybe our power generators are a little more efficient then. Let's see what we want to shield for that matter. Um, I'll probably right in the vehicle yards. I think for our defenses should be good enough, and then we need some artillery pieces uh, for the base. This is a precaution, and we also need the, uh, also the farm or whatever they call it. Oh, once the residence online, okay, we finally build some vehicles though, because we're running mighty low here on uh, fighting power. That's not fantastic. 
Yeah. For this precise reason, I might add. Okay, this then eventually into our base, which is interesting. So not as aggressive as they could be. And the Warbird seems to be just hanging out near the map edge, which is fantastic. <laughs> okay, then our, our mines are active at the very least. So, yeah, so some minerals uh, are on their way. I hope so. Yeah, that mine is still under construction. Yeah, nothing is going to happen here without the strike force, I'm afraid. I mean, at least we have a couple complete. of APCs we can already use. Okay, the post situation is uh, uh, still acceptable. Maybe you can build a couple of doors after all. As you didn't see, it's ready. Uh, right then, plop down that uh, farm of ours. It's not, uh, maybe, I'm not quite sure, probably genetic engineering is going on there. Okay, energy lab. I don't think anything else needs upgrading right now. Construction yard awaiting your orders. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, there we go. We get yeah, we got some fire here from these lovely uh yeah, vessels. Fortunately the shooting radar isn't online yet and uh, we have also No! No, not yet to the pieces. Ugh, it's too late anyway. And then yeah. okay. Fantastic. <sighs> yeah, we can't even hit them with our artillery pieces, uh, because they uh, yeah, so on second thought maybe investing in those is that's fantastic. I think we'd rather use them on the offense. Yeah, there was one of our pieces. Man, come on, blast this thing already. It's just... Oh. So now they have woken up, unfortunately, as it would appear. Yeah, okay, that's great. <laughs> Ach, that cheat generator. Why do we, uh, do we not have enough... Oh. Man! Why is it so hard to uh, blast one of these idiots? Come on, we don't need our structures destroyed, do we? I'm a blocking force. Kill this guy. Also build my tanks here because we lose them at a rather rapid pace. Oh, it's just, just uh, one vehicle as a reminder. <laughs> okay, then at least the park that... Um, maybe... I uh, thought it was the safest place, but apparently it's not. So if you put it forward, it would get blasted anyway. Okay, yeah, I think it's quite wise to make this happen finally. And I'll be, uh, what's the, did I not put any construction bees? Uh, we have seven, should be plenty. Okay. And there's already the next idiot incoming. Maybe we can mount some sort of forward defense, but I doubt it, to be honest. Vehicle complete. They will replace them anyway by uh, beaming them in from the fortress. So as long as this thing is still around, they will have uh, infinite reinforcements. And these vehicles are extremely durable. Yeah. Ja, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Um, I think we focus on vehicles, this mission set of static defenses, but just be on the safe side, we build a couple at the very least. Uh, so, cheat generator. Um, are we missing a prerequisite again? Yeah, we have a cheat generator, so we should be able to build um, at least the first uh, turret. Yeah, we have the bureau, we have the science station with all this stuff, so why can we not? Complete. Uh, maybe I didn't upgrade, yeah, it's also upgraded. Um, yeah, there is the teleporter pad. Also, maybe I forgot to set on the... Okay, that makes sense. Well, uh, that's better me then. Because they look uh, suspiciously Vehicle similar. Complete. It's very easy to confuse them at a glance. So the security bureau, um, I guess, can go here. Okay, we have one actually piece in position. The mine has one right, and we still right away to free up uh, some uh, cargo bees. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we could be expecting because the mine over there is not uh, going to stay alive. <laughs> they can also fire up those, let's not forget. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, please get this online already. We also find something uh, to do for our uh, security officer then. He's still idling at the moment. Okay, we cannot build anything, not even the artillery piece, I believe, which is not very good. At least these tanks, we can... Uh, I don't think the cloak one will offer any advantages because they have to decloak to fire and that makes them, yeah, kind of useless to be honest, alright? And then we try to uh, at least take out the first turret over here someplace because they won't be uh, replacing doors. But for this we need also yeah, a couple of vehicles back at the base just to be on the safe side. Come on, get this going already. I think construction on uh, Romanian side is a little slow for whatever reason. Mm 
Ah, F. Man kann schon oft Poké in die Federation, wo der kommt, ist anything for us. So wird das Fokus in der Hand. Ein BD für das Ship. Seems to be stuck on Fortune Laser. Wir können ab Egusa wird. Come on! Ja, yeah, I guess we sit on a third vehicle, yeah, because I cannot be a bother to uh, wait around here all the time. Because it's extremely slow, especially with the uh, yeah, more advanced vehicles later on. So there we go. Is it uh, online already? Yeah, just finishing the roof, I see. You can only have a free construction piece working on the structure at once. There's no footer speed up, I'm afraid. Security Center mm -hmm. operation. Fantastic. So, static disruptor. Vehicle um, complete. Yeah, that was a big blind spot of ours. We give us a try instead of um, putting them up front, which will not uh, accomplish too much apparently. Okay, there we have next incoming. Already. <laughs> okay, maybe we can take a couple of pop shots at this thing. Photon defense, uh, we leave uh, for the uh, photos, I believe. That seemed to be a good idea. Vehicle complete. Fire through here and then another one. And if he leave artillery uh, back at base, it should be the more by variety because they don't have a power draw and also easier to replace. Hopefully, this will Vehicle offer complete. some sort of uh, yeah, suitable defense at least for the time being. Vehicle complete. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have that uh, under control and we can finally uh, see what the build queue looks like. So, well, this is uh, good, I think, but we need artillery to move forward and uh, the tank situation is uh, acceptable. So, okay, um, Ground Scout, uh, yeah, we need this for recon, just to see what's going on, because I'm not, uh, uh, yeah, completely aware of the exact position of the Oberen Fortis, for instance, if it's with artillery. Okay, I think that's ready. The cloak APC is a waste of time, so we don't, uh, yeah, waste of time, but literally, so five may do the trick. And then we have assembled our uh, first strike force, uh, sort of. Okay, with these guys will be coming with us that much is certain. Okay, put it over here. We can sort for the formation. Uh, a couple of those as well. And uh, the APC, I'm not going to leave back at base. Then we'll go to the, yeah, to the shield generator. Vehicle uh, complete. I'm just kind of interested that the Hubo not as uh, uh, aggressive as I thought they would be. It's going to change once you start poking them, and their opposition is already uh, quite formidable as it is. Yeah, see? Okay. Fantastic. Shooting at the APC. I think we make ourselves useful while we wait and take out this guy, for instance. Let's get the position here to make that happen. So we don't need uh, our freshly built uh, artillery destroyed to weh. Vehicle complete. Um, I'm not sure which one it was, probably, yeah, this guy, okay. Uh, but there's just some minerals that we didn't pick up, so I think we throw it off on that idea for now. Okay, yeah, so that's what I meant, uh, we are quite a resource stuff for the entire thing, so we have to make the weapons available without squandering too many forces, which uh, won't uh, end very well for us. <laughs> okay, so... Ugh, this is so slow even with uh, three vehicle yards, uh, when we have not upgraded the last one here, so maybe fix that little problem. Okay, we're looking at the six or twenty pieces. Uh, then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I guess we build a couple more and then uh, move on because while well, we don't have a mobile chip generator, unfortunately. Okay, then. Maybe three of those or four even. Okay, so we move forward. We go next to the uh, yeah, sporting uh, vehicle. And let's double check that we have plenty of power available to set down a couple of the photon defense pieces if we need to. And yeah. yeah, that's what I brought over here for. Please engage these targets and take them out. Yeah, so one shot and uh, our tank is almost gone. <laughs> Vehicle complete. Make that free. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, maybe let's uh, yeah, let our shield recharge here for a bit before we move on. So, are we Vehicle already in position? Complete. Ja, yeah, hopp so. Das ist die Idee. Tank. Channel open. For the Empire. Vehicle complete. Channel open. Ah, 
just have to wait for the last straggler here, I suppose. And then afterwards, we are on our merry way and we can start, uh, yeah, we count the area a little bit. Okay, we squeeze a little closer. Maybe we see if we can find another angle for our uh, mine, for instance, but I don't think that's probably uh, the case. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if there's nothing being picked up here, so maybe we have a board night after all. Oh, so, what we're looking at here, we have uh, how many Hubram vessels on top? So, uh, this uh, radar complete. heavily defended uh, on second Vehicle fort, isn't it? Complete. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, now, that's uh, something made for our artillery because I don't think we can fight our way uh, through there with our uh, tanks alone. Speaking of which, are we in position already? Yeah, so, these two were still freshly built. Okay, we uh, try to uh, orchestrate it in some fashion, and otherwise we are rebuilding our vehicles uh, in a pretty a substantial manner, probably, right? So, you got squad number one. And uh, well, we have some damage already, there's nothing we can do about it. At least we protect the artillery. Okay, we can get that close at the very least, maybe poke them a little bit for artillery. You see, we have the blocking force available. And we should probably uh, build some vehicles right away as replacements, or at least screw them up. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I think we can uh, make the fifty forces uh, ten to a certain extent. Yeah, if we don't have a big traffic jump as usual. Alright, keep you uh, over here so you don't uh, draw fire immediately. Yes, you could move uh, behind them with uh, cloaked uh, tanks, but they have to decloak, and uh, they are just as uh, yeah, uh, ineffective when it comes to their firepower, alright? I think we have to be up to this angle, roughly speaking, to use our artillery. And since we only have six pieces, maybe we can uh, uh, spread them out a little bit, just to make sure that everyone can fire at the same time. Like this, okay, let's give it a spin. You move forward a little bit to protect the, uh, the pieces that would be slow. Bit of hanging back there being useless. Go, a couple of vehicles gone, that's fantastic. Too far out of position, aren't you? I don't think we can force our way uh, in there right now with an APC to capture the structure, but uh, the Hubra and the Fortress maybe within our grasp, that's something I would like to do here. Okay, if they want to get blasted here, <laughs> looks for me to stand there. Right, let's see then. Uh, once uh, half of them have been uh, done away with, I think we can move forward with a little uh, better confidence. Okay, move forward just a little bit so the back piece can uh, shoot as well. I uh, hope so. I avoid about getting flanked here, but it's not very likely with the AI, uh, unfortunately. So, then find out uh, the turret, yeah. <laughs> I think it was roughly his, uh, yeah, in this area. We have another tool back here, which we can rush branded. So. I think it's everyone, yes. So we came forward a little bit after the V Compressor has uh, found out where that tool is located. Okay, uh, if we maybe open skills over here that may do the trick, and then we move forward right away, and based on the information, uh, we direct our efforts. So there's the uh, fortress. Okay. There's a turret, okay. Yeah, they've already placed a couple of these uh, devices, unfortunately. Alright, we focus forward then and try to focus on the turret. And you will uh, focus on the fortress. And yeah, please try to do that. Okay. Please uh, watch that turret, thank you. And then we also. Yeah. Ready. Uh, again, I should say, hopefully, we can uh, make do with what's available back in place. And it's just one turret. Come on, guys. It's down already. Then focus on the uh, fortress, if you, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, maybe, yeah, okay. On second fort, um, they want to get too close for comfort. So, uh, okay, um... I'm not sure what the effective weapon range on this thing is like, to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, tank crews are stupid as usual. Okay, we lost then no set, unfortunately. Uh, um, I thought we, yeah, I think we took care of it, which is good. Okay, get these turrets online, then, uh, can't be so hard, right? Should, oh, yeah, should also be with an effective weapon range for that matter. Yeah, so, <laughs> someone is shooting it already, which is not fantastic. Already blasted, that's great, yeah. Clean, so great at all. 
I think now the photos has something to shoot at. Something else I should say, so I get over there. And I try to blast that thing. Oh. We can take it, I hope so, right? If not, then, uh, well, that's, uh, then we have to retreat. it. <laughs> um, I don't think it's going very well, is it? Well, maybe we can fix that little problem here with a couple of, uh, yeah, so. That's what I was uh, very worried about. And let's not forget that uh, these turrets can also fire on these doctors we are supposed to capture. But this thing really has to be destroyed. Blasted with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Okay, because it's a wedding point and also a spawn point for their own, uh, yeah, vehicles and something we need. There we go, fantastic. Going a lot better than I thought it would do, but we need some uh, replacement tanks, that looks obvious. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Otherwise, yeah, we also need to rebuild that, uh, yeah, so, hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, that's it. I feel the defense turret. I don't think we can uh, move the artillery in its blind spot, but we can make the attempt at the very least. But I don't want all of them to get destroyed, you know. Maybe uh, the artillery pieces can take care of that for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, focus on that if you would. Very worried about leaving these guys here, so maybe pull back with the artillery a little bit to be on the safer side. Also need an APC, ideally. Okay, this uh, apparently is completely defenseless against our artillery, which is fantastic. Uh, the other does not so much, right? <laughs> okay, just the roaming force of theirs. Mm, I don't think they will take too much damage from that, to be honest. But at least we keep them busy, but just something. Okay, so they can knock this mine out. I don't really care, to be honest. But they're running little on the minerals already. And they need... Uh, I guess we just take this APC and put on squad number 3 and hope it survives. Also replace, uh, well, do we really need a cloaked uh, APC for that? I mean, we can uh, try it out, but it still has to decloak to actually uh, uh, capture the structure, so it's going to be very useful. Vehicle complete. Okay, what about these tanks, though? Alright, uh, I think the build queue is still completely full, yeah, even with three vehicle yards, it still takes the substantial on, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, duration here to make this happen, okay. Vehicle complete. Ja, yeah, I don't think we're hitting anything over there, but this we're keeping them busy, when we score a lucky hit once in a while, who knows. Okay, also recon vessel, replacement one if we can manage, because we need to see what's going on, how much damage has been inflicted. But it's unfortunate that the, uh, yeah, yeah, that the, complete. yeah, that the robot isn't helping out in this case, I really uh, like it too. <laughs> that all they have to do thing uh, is uh, left to us once again, because our rival can be bothered to offer fire support. Yeah, uh, as a matter of vehicle principle, probably. Okay, cloaked assault yes. vehicle. Why don't call the cloaked APC? That would be a lot easier to see at advance, right? And uh, these have the uh, not attack order on default, but it only applies uh, to when they are moving, not when they are stationary. So they will some blasting give away the position regardless. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are wondering that's how it works, I believe. Okay, well. Do we really have the force available? But I think a clever maneuvering will get us a greater distance, so we give it a spin, and if we need to pull back and uh, reinforce our formation, so be it. Alright, so three here for you guys. To be on the safe side, and that Vicon Vassal has been rebuilt as well, I hope. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's got number five for you. And then see what's going on. Can direct our, uh, or redirect our artillery pieces, for instance. Maybe we can go over here and find ourselves a lovely blind spot. And uh, the structure should have uh, it should be charged already. Yeah, so there's another phaser defense turret, which is heavily damaged for some reason. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's something our artillery could probably uh, in take out. I think we need all of them, actually. Yeah, maybe just one. Two, for that matter. Okay, give it a spin. Try to find an angle. Mm, I don't think this is going to work, is it? <laughs> okay, then. So, tanks are all there. In position put on squad number one. Would be doubt harder with the fortress around still. That gave us a lot of a headache in the other two campaigns, of course. So, try to get a little closer then. And we think we set ourselves to uh, bombard probably. Uh, yeah, this here. If 
think beat fight is order and then you should yeah there we go this you can fire which may be enough in this case mm, there it is gone final day or i should say already uh then have to engage it before that way okay i'm not quite sure where the other turrets are located but maybe we can uh yeah mm. Yeah, this, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's very, very menacing. Yeah, this formation. Okay, the turret is gone. Well, I'm really not quite sure, but maybe this is something we should investigate at the very least. that we'll be able to engage this right away if you put it there. I mean, it's a little stupid that we have to do this, but uh, you have seen how uh, easily our vehicles are destroyed. So we have to be very careful with the, uh, uh, yeah, Trico of the uh, minerals we have been provided with. So this is an angle we could uh, swoop down from and finish off this uh, trio, for instance. It's also uh, in a uh, part for our APCs, for instance. It's better than going through the middle. Might give the spin. These two artillery pieces can maybe uh, try to find an angle. That's fine. I don't think there's any point to separating our, um, yeah, these vehicles, unfortunately. Our tanks, I should say. We can only, uh, hope to drop fire. Come on, get these turrets online, please. And they will fire on the building automatically, uh, as long as there isn't an APC already with the capture order. Ja, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Okay, this guy we need to block in some fashion would be slow because, wow, well, he's, uh, will make life for us pretty miserable otherwise. Okay, we try to find a better angle for you over there someplace. I think they will be replacing this uh, now with the, uh, uh, yeah, photo spawn. Okay, we also have a little closer for them. It should be decent. I hope so. Should be relatively safe, I think. And uh, I guess we try to go in with the APC. Once we have uh, eyes on the structure itself, which is something we may be able to do with them. Or it, I should say. Okay, who's taking damage? Uh, nothing of importance, apparently. Yeah, that's the structure, I believe. If we could scan and fear, we will not going to offer any advantages. And thankfully, it's good for the intact. Okay, so the APC can uh, probably pull this off. And uh, do we have the... I'm not quite sure who the fire is, but I... Hmm. I think we try to take out the couple of remaining uh, Hubron vessels. We spin here, and the other guys will move forward. Okay, good, good, great prejudice. Okay, try to make yourself useful, please. This is the idea. Uh, did you debug out again? You did. Of course you did. <laughs> Fantastic. No, stop that. Thank you. It's all you're here for, literally. Man, why is it that uh, the Roman APCs in particular uh, they tend to bug out? I don't understand because suddenly the path is clear, yes. For the most part. Uh, if I put this guy, I should say. Man. Over here. Capture that. They aren't even opening fire, are they? <laughs> I mean, lowering the shields or trying to. And we're getting taken apart here by these couple of uh, Rubrin. Maybe the APC doesn't work, like period. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the game. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Eliminate these guys here. Don't need any for the headaches, do we? And we don't have the staying power for this bullshit. Yeah, we really don't. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, if you're useless, then we try the other APC. If you don't mind. So, I should be up to. We still get a little closer here, perhaps. 
Oh, horrible noise. <laughs> ja, what the heck is with this? So, it's not a problem with the uh, APC in particular. Yeah. And there's a gun. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, uh, I'm at a loss. Maybe we cannot uh, come to this objective then. If uh, we cannot capture the structure. So, reload some of those uh, tanks. Uh, why I've come to think of it. Mm -hmm, I keep quite a few. Can we maybe not do this? I'm more interested in taking all these people here, yes. <laughs> And can you please capture that? Maybe it's because of the wrong order, who knows? I mean, there isn't really a wrong order, but uh, you know what I mean. Try the regular order and then get over here and try to capture that. <laughs> I mean, it's moving to the location, granted. Ja, yeah, now it's... Okay, that would be the problem, really. That's the problem. Now get it uh, over with already, please. We are uh, providing as much protection as we can with the handful of uh, vessels we have left. <laughs> Come on. Box him in, shoot him. Thank you. There we go. Finally concentrated firepower at uh, point blank range. <laughs> Did the trick. So, our way team is on its way. And then I don't think we have to, uh, to worry about any other Huber forces. Take out the fortress. Everybody cripples their efforts, thankfully. Yeah, get this useless message here out of the way. Uh, so, we did, I think we were quite close to running dry, as you can see. And yeah, that's not going to last us for much longer. Yeah. Uh, especially these uh, tanks here and the artillery pieces. The other uh, minerals are only good for building construction, more or less, as you can see by the uh, difference in stockpile. <laughs> so I don't think we would have had the greatest staying power in this particular mission. Yeah, I know it's a uh, large building compared to the uh, small, tiny soldiers we saw uh, running in there, complete. but still. <laughs> Alrighty then. That was certainly not as uh, difficult or frustrating as the uh, other two campaigns, but of course I have a bit more experience at this point in time. And our starting position was not as horrible as I thought it would be because uh, the Hubron were not as aggressive. Surprisingly enough, I think the Klingons and the Federation they were on constant attack way more often. Ja, we go. Ja, let's over there and take them out. <laughs> and I think it's every objective we have uh, yeah, to take care of here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Another one in the back. The Senate commends you for your brilliant command. Wow, thank you. I don't think it was uh, the most brilliant command we've ever seen, but certainly I did have a better grasp on our uh, vehicle management than before. And uh, already then, I think uh, this is another great victory for the Romans, the Empire, and unlike the uh, other two uh, major powers, uh, we have already learned uh, what the power stations are doing uh, in combination with the active portals, because it uh, featured prominently the very first uh, mission of this campaign. And uh, well, maybe this gives us a head start when it comes to the appearance of the meta, which is probably uh, taking place in the very next mission because you guessed it it's back to the mass slips mm -hmm. and it's something we leave for next episode of course so as usual i thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time